Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any week having a Ford vehicle such as a Ford C-Max, Ford Escape, Fusion, Focus guys, Edge. If you need to compress rear caliper, okay, the brake caliper, you need to compress it. We will explain how to do that. If you don't do it the wrong way, if you do it the wrong way, you will damage it. You will need to replace it guys. So all that will be covered today. The tools that we use that are super inexpensive. We'll talk about that. Uh, before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video now if you need to buy any parts tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well including the brake caliper compressor tool check out the link in the description of the video below and we're going to check this thing out now let me show you what we have specifically here that same caliper design okay maybe different dimensions but it's been used on multiple forward vehicles this is the one right here and you have the brake line and the uh, parking brake cable here as well most people will try to compress it and push it in but that's not the right way to do it so let's explain what we need to do now it's recommended to clean your seal really good and the piston as well because it's going to compress there and you don't want to have uh, dust and dirt stuck in it some people will use even brake cleaner uh, but you need to get the one that's safe actually for the seal okay don't use one that's not safe for a seal because if you do what can happen okay you can you can damage it so if you check it okay everything looks good here so uh, what you need to do you have different okay different options here the one that really fits good on ours okay this is for the right hand side you can see uh, rh this is the one that gets and you need to find a fitting that fits on yours for instance this one okay fits great on ours so we install it there we need to get a plate okay and that plate okay needs to go on the brake caliper too okay like that and now what you need to do okay you need to turn it until okay one second no okay until we align everything here really good okay nope okay like that perfect now what do we need to do okay we need to screw that to get the plate out of it now so the plate is installed it's tight okay and now we're going to go uh i, I believe on those was clockwise make sure your emergency brake is not on okay because if it is it's not going to work guys okay and you can see how it compresses it okay it's getting all the way in so that's it it compressed it practically all the way in now we need to pre-loosen it okay right here so you cannot go this way we need to get a wrench if it doesn't go okay i just okay got it there let me see if we can okay we'll need to uh, get okay we'll need to get the one wrench for here so we can unscrew it let me just get that one okay so we can do that see which size it is and we'll continue okay it actually kept going by hand perfect okay and the piston is compressed all the way so as you can see that's how you compress the brake calipers on ford guys it's compressed all the way that's how we do it if you have any questions let us know hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time